the chip. So you can see. So we're going to be able to put her this way. Alright, so you can see both chips there. Alright, so um, basically we're just going to go to the lowest, the, the deepest chip. So we have two chips that will take care of both of them. So we're going to do revolutions all, all around the whole glass to get it down and make it perfectly even. So I'm starting on a 270 grit and just get comfortable and go all the way around until I get both chips out. So the 270 will create like really smaller chips. So then after we do the 270, we will go to the next diamond, which is going to be 325. The higher the grit number, the smoother the glass will be. it and see we still have a little bit of the chips here we'll do one more revolution we use water because that helps to cut down on the uh, on the glass getting into your lungs I think this should be good. Uh, you can see it's still a little rough. We have a little bit of uh, the chip here, but the next uh, diamond grit will be able to get that out. So I'm gonna quickly turn my machine off. So these are magnetic, so all I have to do is just pull one off and put another one on. I don't have to unscrew anything, which is why I love this machine. It makes uh, productivity really go really well. Now I'm ready to go with the next. I do have to wet these. Good. Then you can go to a drip. Like that. Okay, so what this uh, diamond dust is going to do is it's going to smooth out all the chips that the one before it created. So now we have like little chips all the way around the edge. Okay, so I don't see the chip anymore. You can see a little, well, this is water. You still see a little microscopic chips, chips on the edge, but no longer a deeper chip. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll shut this one off. And we'll start doing some smoothing pads. So we're gonna go with the brown, which is, I believe this one's a 325. Then you have a 400, and then you have a 600 smoothing pad. And then you have, if you need it, with uh, more of the, the thicker glasses, you will need uh, the um, polishing pad and uh, cerium oxide. So again, magnetic, and I'll just put that in place. Make sure none of the little bristles are going to grab. And put on there. Okay, the 
back to another loop trip. Fill the chips on the edge but because it, it did, does have like a roundness what, at this point what I like to do is to start to kind of round the the rim and that will take out the chips on the edges here and um, I'm kind of at like maybe um, a 35 degree angle, then I'll kind of go up to about a 45. And then I'll go up to about a, maybe a 70. And just keep go angling up, and that kind of gets the roundness into the edges. So I do still feel a little bit of a chip, some chips, so I'll just repeat that process. I'm really letting the disc do the work. I'm just supporting it so it doesn't, the revolutions of the disc doesn't pull it out of my hand. Alright, well that feels wonderful. Okay, so now we'll go to the 600, sorry, the... 400. You gotta let me slow down. At this point, we pretty much got all the chips out of it. We're just trying to. Uh, right now, this is probably getting it, giving it more of a satin uh, finish on the rim. I can take chips out of glass and crystal if you have a, uh, you know, even a decorative piece that you just want a sharp edge smooth out. You can take care of that. We can't really do anything with um, teeth or, you know, like cut glass that has teeth on the edges because, because of us working with a uh, flat area, you would need something more on a wheel. Um, so we can't, you know, really do too many items, but we can definitely take care of stemware and get it ready for your next occasion. So one more disc and then I think we're gonna be done. So like I said, with thinner glass, we can uh, get away with just going to the 800, uh, well, 
eight six hundred grit. I believe this is. How often do you go through these plates? Uh, these different. Uh, the Polishing diamond. grits, yeah, the diamond, yeah. Well, so far, uh, I've had this machine for about two years, and I haven't had to replace anything yet. So they do last a long time. Mm -hmm. Whenever a diamond disc gets, um, you know, gets uh, kind of cluttered with glass, mm -hmm. uh, resin, you know, we'll take this and just go straight across it. It sharpens all the diamonds. So it does help the diamond desk to last a lot longer. And I can't think of what it's called, but it's basically a sharpener. It almost reminds me of something that, you know, you put in a bird cage for them to sharpen their beak. Mm. So each time you put a disc on, you can hear how much less noise you, you have because... How often do you depend on the noise that you're listening to to decide whether you're close or not? Well, it's um, not so much the noise as it is just feeling it, you know, with, you know, touch. And as I'm uh, rotating it, you know, you can still see the chip each time it comes around. So you're able to, you know, see the chip when at, at the beginning. And you'll know how far to go down. But when you get to those microscopic little chips, you, it really helps with touch. And seeing it, holding it against the dark background. So a lot of times, like after I get to this point, if I want to check and make sure that I have all the chips. I like to put it on a dark background and check it. And I'm going to take my and we'll wipe the drops off, drops of water. Yep, there you go. You can see it's perfect. No more chips. Yeah. Feels perfectly smooth. And I'll demonstrate how I get to the inside because of me having a flat disc, what I like to do is if I have chips on the insides of the rim, I have handheld pads. I get these from His Glass Works. This is a little diamond pad. So I will take and dip it in some water and just kind of smooth out those edges. And of course, you know, you got diamond, then you have smoothing pads. Once you do the diamond, you can smooth out all the chips on the inside. If you have a chip that you're possibly wanting to smooth out yourself, I would recommend you get a set of these handheld pads. So we have diamond and all the smoothing pads. Usually when I do the inside, I just go with the diamond because it doesn't affect the, doesn't really affect because you're just doing it right on the edge just to smooth it out, <laughs> to take out that sharpness. All right, and I'll let you, yeah. it's very smooth. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you.